It's me, Arthur Cade, Nikki and Gabby DiMartino, four and a half million YouTube subscribers. So funny story, I'm on Twitter. I forget what trending topic I was looking at. And you know how they'll have top tweets? Mm -hmm. You guys were like the top tweets for whatever trending topic I was looking at. You were tweeting about something and I'm like, I'm interviewing these ladies yeah. this week. It's probably the Victoria's Secret fashion show. It was, because yeah. I just interviewed all the angels. So that's exactly, yeah. it was, I think it was Adriana Lima actually, because I just interviewed her and I was like, Oh, there they go. So yeah. you're a top tweet as well. Uh -huh. All right, guys. So we're at this, the studio track in Bergen Co. This is so gorgeous, by the way. I think I'm going to move in here after Beautiful. we're done. What are we doing here? Um, well, this space is interactive for creators and talent to just come and see brands and explore and meet brands and have fun because it's a girly fun space. It's so fun in here. Yeah, it's, it's already so for cute. There's a, there's a mascara, mascara Christmas, tree Christmas tree behind us. How adorable is that? It's amazing how we look at things differently. I'm looking to move in. They're like looking at every product in here. Yeah, like, I just put on like some lip gloss and I'm like yeah, obsessed. Yeah, I just found some too. <laughs> Our lips are extra glossy right now. <laughs> Playing oh. around. How have you guys built this incredible following? I'm like amazed by it. We didn't start it to build anything, and I think that's I think that's a huge reason why it it's happened. something because it's organic and we're our, passionate our about it. Very in what we do. We started it for fun, so I think that's yeah. that was the key. We just have we fun didn't with start it. it to build an empire or a business. We started it because we just genuinely had a good time making videos and videos. connecting with like you know our subscribers and being girly and funny and singing and goofy you freaking finish your sentences over each other that is so <laughs> crazy i don't realize we do that <laughs> so your twin sister is from bethlehem yeah how does this all begin are you like in a bedroom and you're like hey let's put videos on the internet like where's the start it starts in high school. High school. Where, well, no, it starts in seventh, grade. Seventh grade. When you got we the made back, videos right. since 2008, 2009, but we never put them anywhere to, till 2011, summer 2011. Mm -hmm. And that's, we didn't even start this channel first. We had another channel called like Zero Zero Remake, Remake Girls. Girls. And we like remade music videos and did stupid comedy videos and sang. And, and then all of our subscribers were asking us like, how'd you do your makeup? Where'd you get your outfits? How'd you do your hair? And the beauty community was growing. We made growing. a secondary channel, so which a was second channel. beauty. And then uh, that was just a very saturated like platform beauty. And we didn't realize that. We just got into that because we just needed a secondary channel to answer all those questions since it was- But then it kind of took off and became channel. our main channel. So, and then we got really into beauty and then slowly but surely, four years later, we're back to doing remake girls type content, but on Nikki and Gabby channel, channel, on yeah. the main channel. So we you like also, came back to our roots. You also have a new single coming out. So yes. tell me about now you're doing music. So tell me about the whole music experience. What are they getting when they hear your music? Um, well, because it's like the very first thing we did before YouTube and that's mainly what our first channel was. We were, so many people are supporting it and they see that that's where like our hearts lie. Um, but I'm just, I can't express how excited I am to just make this turn because although I love beauty and fashion, it's just something we both genuinely love to do. Mm -hmm. When you look at what you guys are building, I mean, we're in a new age. This didn't exist 10 years ago. No. And now we have Nikki and Gabby DiMartino because of the YouTube and digital age. Where do you want to see this empire that you're building move over the next five, 10, 15 years? I want it to move completely from YouTube to um, a household like name. Like I want it to be like, um, not just videos, but like makeup and fashion and music and you know. Just we want it to not be Nikki and Gabby from YouTube, but just Nikki, Nikki and Gabby. Nikki and Gabby, like not the YouTubers, but just Nikki and Gabby, like we're, the girls. We're seeing so many digital personalities transition to mainstream media like television, like a Tyler Oakley, for instance. Mm -hmm. Have people begun to approach you guys about that? Does does the starting point that you've already cr created create those opportunities? I would say it yeah. opens conversation, but um, I I hate to you know put that like 
name or stereotype on YouTubers or just using it as a platform to get followers to then take it elsewhere. I think it's a matter of like finding what you really love and going with it and not trying to do everything. Mm -hmm. um, so like if your heart's in TV and you are fortunate enough to be a YouTuber and have a following that supports you in that TV track, that's great. And just that same way, we have the music track and our subscribers are really, really supportive of it. It's yeah. really awesome. When was the moment the light bulb went off? Like, oh my God, something's happening here. Like these people, like us, we've got to keep building this thing. When was it we can turn this into a career? I think it was the moment we got our first call from Awesomeness TV saying, hi, this is Emily. We want to work with you guys and we're LA based so we're going to want to fly you guys out next week. And we're like, wait, what? what? <laughs> LA next week? <laughs> what? Yeah. And you should have seen it. Like we literally still have that vlog on our main channel. Really we made an LA vlog and we were such tourists walking around. Oh my God, there's palm trees. There's palm oh my God, it's snowing oh at home. God, oh my I'm God, so it's three hours home. ahead. You know, or three hours later. Like we were such tourists and we were freaking it's out over so everything. awesome to watch that video though now that like we we literally like that's like our second that's home that's our now. second home so it's weird to see oh my god so it's funny like going back and seeing like just a matter of like three years ago we were like freaking out at the sight of a palm tree and being that far from home it yeah was you're so LA funny. regulars oh my god I still will always be that girl though I, it's yeah. hard to explain like I still even today just like going around and like having interviews I'm still like yeah I'm not cool like why do people want to talk to me? <laughs> the fans does it blow your mind to see how passionate they are I mean that I, I I would think like, holy cow, people care about my life. That's so weird to me. Mm -hmm. like, how, how is it for you guys to have fans, millions of people caring about the two of you? Um, it's gotten me through my most difficult times. I can say that. Um, I don't understand why they want to watch me. Like, I just don't get it. I don't think I'll ever <laughs> get it. Well, I just think it's cool because when I was, you know, the age of our subscribers, I always wanted, like, someone to, like, look up to like this. And I just want to, like, just show people that, like, if you want to do it, you can do it. And, um, like, life is hard sometimes, but, like, there's always light at the end, yeah. you know. When did it become a moment that you started structuring what the brand was going to look like? Because you've built a brand at this point. But what was the moment that it was like, this is what we want the actual business brand to become? I think it was the moment she dyed her hair blue and I dyed my hair blonde. The moment we started really being ourselves, we realized, wait, we don't need to try to be a brand. We already are a brand. We're Nikki and Gabby. We're twins. And we're really yeah. different. We were trying too hard to be we the same person when we realized, matter of fact, everyone just loved us for being who we are individually as together as a whole, like the, how different mm -hmm. we are. For a while, we tried being like the same person we've had networks management teams to, like our team members tell us you know you guys should be co more cookie cutter brands will like you more you guys should be more like twins you guys are twins dress more like no 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 like I I feel like the moment we started really branding ourselves was when we were like no I'm Nikki I like my blue hair and I and like I'm Gabby and I like blonde hair and corset tops yeah like, like we're just different and then for a while we tried hiding yeah. the pink a little bit hiding the what I like and making it one but then now our channel banner is literally Nikki and it's blue on one side and then and Gabby and pink on the other and yeah. we just that we branded it because that's How much that's thought us. goes into every move that you guys make? It's, it's a gradual process. And not a lot, actually. Like, I feel like we put way too much thought the first few years of YouTube mm -hmm. trying to be something we weren't. And these last few years, we've really just been ourselves. It's been easy because we're, our brand is us, Nikki and Gabby. Like, we're totally it's different. But kind we're of really unfolded. Similar. Like, we started out being like, yeah. okay, this is how we're going to be. This is our image. We've got to have the same hair. Let's do the same outfits. I don't outfits think we've ever colors. been more like, ourselves than we are right now. Yeah. So that's really cool. When you look at the fans, what have mm -hmm. been the one or two coolest fan experiences you've been able to experience? Um, hmm. There's so many. There was just so many. Being on tour. We were, when we were on tour, there were just so, so many. Like we met um, a subscriber who had cancer or just was in remission. Um, and she reminded us of our um, friend who passed away freshman year of high school who kind of always inspired us yeah. to do this. Um, we just, and we've been talking about this. We want to definitely give back, especially for the holidays. And like, we're not just saying that. I feel like a lot of people for publicity are like, we want to give back. Yeah, but no, we really we do. Because I feel like, you know, like we're really fortunate and like a lot of people aren't. And I just feel like it would make us feel good. Yeah.